Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing great. I am doing fantastic. Thank you for asking. You don't care, do you? Anyway, today we're going to be doing super easy revamps to your old t-shirts. And the first one is going to be a split t-shirt. I had a red and yellow t-shirt and I thought this color combo would be beautiful and they could be great together, like me and my ex. So first things first is I cropped my t-shirt. Obviously, I love my stuff cropped. It's still summer, please let me live in quarantine still but let me live okay if you want this to be as long as your legs you live your life and let me live my life and let's be peaceful with each other so I'm just cutting through the line I just drew I basically went below that point because I got a bit scared she would be a bit too cropped and after I'd done everything I marked nine inches which was my midpoint and to the right of that point I marked half an inch so you need this half an inch she's going to be your seam allowance she is going to allow you to be great and she is the reason you're going to get into law school okay so you need to do this and basically I just drew a straight line through the half inch mark and I'm going to cut through that straight line and divide my t-shirt into two so the reason we're adding in the half inch is it's going to be our seam allowance when you move on to joining it with the other piece. So just do it to be safe. I also got rid of the tag. She was a bit toxic. I didn't like her vibe, her energy. Uh -uh. So I use a red t-shirt on my second t-shirt to just get a rough idea of why I'd crop her. And I draw a straight line through the point, cut that out to crop this t-shirt as well. And it's basically the same thing we did with the red t-shirt. And after you're done cutting, get rid of the bottom bit or make a house from it it's your world and you do whatever you want so now I just marked the midpoint and then half an inch from that midpoint on the left side this time so you need the seam allowances to be on the opposite sides that way when you join the two pieces together they make a complete t-shirt that actually seems like it was meant to be two t-shirts in one don't let it be weird and people are asking questions and they wonder why you sew your own clothes why you're always broke why you're forever alone just avoid the questions you know that not everyone needs to know that so just do whatever you need to do to seem profesh so I also got rid of the tag in this t-shirt and I split it in half as you saw and now it's time to join the two pieces together forever they're here to stay whether they like it or not so I'm just joining the back pieces and I'm putting the right sides together and I'm going to pin that entire edge together and we're going to sew it and our t-shirt will be attached at the back. So pin everything together. So a zigzag stitch to join the two pieces. And now for the front bit, you're going to flip this inside out. That way you can join the right sides together. So when sewing, your right sides always need to be together unless it's a different concept. And in that case, I will tell you. But here we're doing right sides together. And I also marked a five inch mark because I wanted my shirt to have a v-neck you know show some cleavage a bit but not too much a very subtle v-neck and I pinned all the way down from the v-neck and you're going to sew along the pins a zigzag stitch as well because she's stretchy and this is going to join your t-shirt together and you will basically be done so I'm just doing my zigzag stitch nothing fancy make sure you backstage make sure you're paying your taxes make sure you're quarantining and everything will be fine so once I'd sewn my zigzag stitch your t-shirt is basically joined together but as you can see mine's longer on one side it's a whole mess but let's fix that so I just drew a straight line through the longer bit cut the excess bit of fabric off and you're basically good to go so I decided the shirt wasn't enough of whole material for me I needed to deepen the v-neck you don't have to do this it's totally optional I just wanted my v to look neat and pretty and actually look like it was meant to be there so I just decided to cut off excess fabric from it this was super simple to do and once that was done I made sure to stretch all the cut edges and your t-shirt is now beautifully done I also folded in the sleeves because I'm super cool and I couldn't help myself if you're not cool enough to do this I understand not everyone can do this I'm kidding if you want to fold in the sleeves you do that someone might actually take me seriously so I do have to be cautious but don't feel limited do different colors do purple and black 
black do yellow and red do white on white no actually don't do that because that is pointless and it's just wasting your time be creative but use your common sense so now i'm going to show you how to revamp a v-neck t-shirt this is a men's t-shirt by the way size extra small i love how big men's t-shirts are like this is an extra small and it looks like a medium on me whereas female clothes are just a whole different sizing my goodness let's not get into that but this color is gorgeous it's such a fall color though we're not yet in fall it's coming i'm praying for this year to end quickly and if i have to make fall diys for it to be fall you bet i'm gonna do it so all i'm doing now is i'm marking a line below the point i marked i was a bit scared with cropping this time i thought i was cutting my t-shirts too short but i was just paranoid maybe the whole life is actually leaving me but i cut through the straight line to crop the t-shirt and now you are good to go you have another tube top to make another house to make depending on what you decide to do with the bottom bit so now using the v point as a guide i'm just going to draw a straight line down and this is going to help me split my t-shirt open and i'm just cutting through the top layer only and splitting my t-shirt making her ready for the next step. I turn this inside out and I'm now folding in the side bits twice and pinning them down. So basically I was attempting to make kind of like a button placket makeshift one. It didn't go so well, but I wanted her to be cute. So I just folded in the fabric twice, pinned her in place, repeat on the other side as well. And you're now going to do a straight stitch alongside the edges on both sides. So gasp straight stitch stretchy fabric who am i so the reason i'm using a straight stitch despite having fabric that did try me a lot i wanted the straight stitch first of all the zigzag stitch is extra she needs space she needs to be seen and i wanted this to be more subtle and since i didn't need this bit to stretch i could get away with the straight stitch so you do what you feel is right for your fabric but i felt like she had to behave or get out there was no two ways about it so now for buttons, I'm going to be using pearls because I'm expensive. <laughs> I'm kidding. They're actually fake pearls I got on AliExpress for like a dollar for like a hundred of them. I will link them down below in case you want to be expensive with me. And now all I'm doing is I'm marking an inch all the way down. That's what you just saw me do because I was busy just making noise. And now I'm going to hand sew each and every pearl button with love so that she serves me in the right way and doesn't escape to go be with her longtime summer boyfriend I need her to stay with me okay so I made sure she was in there I really did so on this buttons with all my energy I was not letting any button go and once I was comfortable with how secure she was I secured the knot got rid of the excess thread and repeated the entire process all through so hand sewing the buttons was definitely a trying period for me I don't want to think back to this time because I really did spend a lot of time on this I spent like 30 minutes sewing 10 buttons and I didn't even have to use three buttons so it was a trying time I don't want to talk about it but the buttons were on eventually so make sure you sew all of them onto your top and once they're all sewn on it's going to be worth it it's always worth it with DIYs you just have to be willing to put in the time so now all I'm doing is I'm taking the button packet now you know where the holes will be and I'm going to make sure my pearls can go through so I put it on top of the button on the other side snipped it to the tiny scissor that I don't know where I found. I think this is actually for my nails. Am I disgusting? Yes. But I'm just snipping a hole and making sure it's big enough for the pearl to go through. I pushed the pearl in and I was basically here for my entire life. The reason I don't have a boyfriend, I was just doing this for my whole lifetime. You will be here for a hot second. So the key is to make sure your hole is not too small such that the pearl cannot go through and make sure it's not too big so that your pearl isn't just out there and everything is exposed. And I don't don't know why my voice changed to this anyway I did this for a hot minute and once I had all my holes and all the pearls were home I was basically
basically done. I ended up removing the top three buttons, by the way, so don't even bother, okay? Just because I wanted that cleavage so bad. So now I'm just going to crop my t-shirt some more. Now that I know how long I want her to be, I draw a straight line through and I'm going to cut off the excess bit of fabric. This whole life chose me, okay? I didn't choose it. And I'm also going to get rid of the sleeve hem because I didn't like her. She wasn't my style. She was killing my entire vibe and she had to leave the office building, okay? So I'm going to double hem the bottom of my t-shirt just to make it cute. And we're going to do a lettuce hem and I'm going to do the same thing for the sleeves. Just fold in your fabric twice and sew a zigzag stitch all around. And the lettuce hem is so simple. You're going to repeat on the other sleeve, of course, unless you want to only have one sleeve that looks pretty. No one's going to judge you and if they judge you, please sell them to mind their business. So the lattice hem is really simple to do. You basically fold in your fabric twice, tuck in all the ugly raw edges. No one needs to see them. You need to put your best foot forward and you're going to sew a zigzag stitch to just have everything in place and together. I have an in-depth video on how to do a lattice hem. I will link it down below in case you want to really focus on the lattice hem and become a master of it. But once you repeat this all through, you have a top that is fabulous and ready to be on the Urban Outfitters website without making you sell a kidney. So this is the final result. I really love what the pearls did for this simple t-shirt. They really took this t-shirt to the rich level. Buttons are basic. Everyone has buttons, but pearls, honey, you will be super expensive. You'll be on the streets and everyone will be wanting to talk to you even though you don't want them to. But even if they're fake pearls, no one needs to know that, okay? So anyway, that is all I have for you guys today. I thought this method was such simple and fun ways to revamp your man's current t-shirts, ex-boyfriend's t-shirts, whoever's leaving t-shirts at your house. These are two simple ways you can easily refashion them. That way when they come back for them, they no longer have t-shirts to come back for because you've made cute summer tops from them. Anyway, that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for joining me in today's video. I thoroughly enjoyed your company and I hope I will be seeing your beautiful face in my next video. Until then, stay safe, be beautiful, and cut up everyone's t-shirts. I give you my blessing, you have my permission to do so. See you guys soon. Bye.